So Rivian just pushed a new software update and for second generation R1 vehicles, there's a new feature called Enhanced Highway Assist. And it's been driving me home from work for the past hour or so, completely hands-free. All I need to do is pay attention to the road in front of me and in my surroundings. Keep in mind though that this is not a self-driving feature, but rather adds the capability of hands-free operation on the existing highway assist features. But it actually does more than that. So as you can see, I am completely hands-free. My foot is off the pedal and it's driving by itself, keeping itself centered in the lane. The way it works is that there is an infrared camera right here behind this rear view mirror and it's tracking my facial movements and my eyes to make sure that I am paying attention to the road. Does the face tracking work at night? Yes, it does. And does it work with sunglasses on? Yes, it does. Highway Assist and Enhanced Highway Assist are some of the tools available within the Rivian Autonomy platform. To get back to basics, think of the building blocks as follows. Starting with Adaptive Cruise Control. This is similar to the cruise control on most vehicles. To turn it on, you pull the gear selector stock towards you once. It will either set the target speed to the detected speed or your current speed, and this can be chosen in the settings and you can use the right wheel to adjust the following distance between you and the vehicle in front. You can also use the left and right buttons on the right side of the steering wheel to adjust the target speed. It's going to detect any vehicle or motorcycle in front of you. If there's a vehicle in front of you, the adaptive cruise control will reduce the speed and follow at a safe distance that you set. This works in stop and go traffic. If the vehicle in front is completely stopped, Riven will stop as well and resume the cruise control once the set following distance is detected again. Next, we have Highway Assist. To turn this on, you pull the gear selector stock towards you twice. There is an icon that lets you know if Highway Assist is available. This is basically adaptive cruise control with automatic lane centering. The Rivian will detect lane markers and keep the vehicle centered within the lane, basically steering for you. In this mode, you can be hands-free temporarily and every 15 seconds or so, Rivian will have a pop-up notification telling you to keep your hands on the wheel. All you gotta do is touch the steering wheel and reset the countdown. If you don't, there will be an audible warning sound like this. And if you still ignore all these warnings and don't keep your hands on the wheel, Riven will disengage Highway Assist and hit the brakes to bring the vehicle to a complete stop. When Highway Assist is on, the drive modes are disabled. And now Riven added Enhanced Highway Assist. <laughs> This includes all of the same features as Highway Assist, but with the ability for hands-free driving for a prolonged period of time. If I look away, within five seconds, there will be a pop-up to prompt me to keep my eyes on the road. For now, Highway Assist only works on certain pre-mapped highways and not surface roads. If you attempt to turn it on when it's not available right now, a message will pop up. Same if it's not available on the road that you're on. There are three ways to change lanes while in highway assist mode. Number one is the old school way where I change lanes manually without using a turn signal. And all I do is make sure the lanes are clear, check for blind spots, and just pull on the steering wheel and change lane myself. When you do that, the highway assist will disengage because you've essentially taken over control of the vehicle, so it'll just back off. Um, but the adaptive cruise control will remain on, so once you're done changing your lane, uh, you can re-engage highway assist. The second method of changing lane while in highway assist mode is by flipping the turn indicator on to lane changing mode and the steering wheel will loosen up a little bit so you can turn it to change lanes. 
Uh, once you're done changing the lane, it'll wait for you to realign yourself within the lane. The highway assist will re-engage. The third method of changing lanes while in the highway assist mode is by activating the turn signals completely. Uh, you give it a second, it's going to calculate the surrounding areas and once it's clear of any other vehicles, it'll change lanes automatically and realigns itself and continue with the highway assist. The lane changing feature works while you're in the curve, whether it's on the driver's side or the passenger side. So just now I tried to change lanes and even though the lane was clear, uh, maybe we weren't going fast enough for it to become a safe maneuver, so Rivian decides to just cancel the operation. I tried it again and this time there was a car right next to me so Riven decided to slow down to let the car pass and change lanes behind him. The cruise control does not work above 85 miles an hour and if I just try to set the target speed to 85 miles an hour or above, it'll just stay at 85 miles an hour. So right now we're traveling at 65 miles an hour and if I needed to, I can press on the accelerator pedal temporarily to increase its speed. The cruise control is going to pause but I'm still in highway assist and cruise control mode. When I let it go, it's going to go back to 65 miles an hour. And if I try to go past 85 miles an hour, it, it disengages. Now, unlike normal adaptive cruise control, if there's a car that cuts into your lane, it's not going to automatically slam on the brakes and reduce the speed to keep the safety bubble. It's going to look at the speed of the vehicle and what the behavior is doing. So for example, if there's a vehicle that's coming into your lane and it's slowing down or maintaining the same speed, the adaptive cruise control will reduce the speed to keep that safe distance. However, if the vehicle is, let's say, coming onto your lane but then they're accelerating or they're coming onto your lane and then keep turning into a different lane, Riven will detect that and not slow down just yet. Uh, because it's going to wait to see what that vehicle does. If that vehicle moves faster, then it, there's no need to, you know, slow down the current speed. So there's a curve up ahead on this highway and Riven is going to disengage the enhanced highway assist and uh, remain on the regular highway assist. Another smart feature is that although I have the adaptive cruise control set to a certain speed but because of this curve it's going to reduce the speed to negotiate this curve more safely. Once we get past this curve and back onto the straight road the enhanced highway assist will re-engage by itself. There are certain scenarios that will cause the enhanced highway assist to disengage and revert back to the normal highway assist and some scenarios the highway assist will cancel altogether either going back to just adaptive cruise control or the entire system will disable completely. For example, if you are in enhanced highway assist mode and you're, you're not looking at the road and the Rivian is, cannot detect your face and it's saying you're not paying attention, it's going to give you an audible warning tone to tell you to keep your eyes on the road and if you ignore those warning signals, it's going to slam the brakes and come to a complete stop, uh, completely disengaging the highway assist and um, you have to take over at this point. I'm not going to demonstrate that because there are cars behind me and I don't want to brake check them. When the highway assist is disabled because of your negligence, it will be disabled for the remaining of the drive. It's going to have a pop-up window that says highway assist is unavailable until the next drive. So you have to put the vehicle in park and maybe even exit the vehicle and then come back the next time you start to drive again, it'll be re-enabled. Riven is basically saying, well, you're not paying attention to the road. You don't deserve this feature, so go take a break somewhere. 
another thing to know is that if you are neck and neck with somebody on the lane next to you and they have the turn signal on, Riven's not going to know that they have an intention to come into your lane until they cross those lines. So it's not going to slow down for them or yield to them in any way. It's going to maintain its speed following the distance with the vehicle in front of you. So there you have it guys, the enhanced highway assist feature allows me to drive hands-free on the freeway. Um, it's been doing that for about an hour and a half now, I'm on my way home from work, I'm tired, my brain is not as sharp as it used to be. And so this minimizes human error of, you know, in case of accidents or any misjudgments while on the road. It's also useful for road trips uh, in a sense that it allows you to relax and enjoy the scenery around you and not worry too much about the driving specifics. So I hope this video was informative. Uh, you get to see what the Gen 2 vehicles are capable of as Riven continue to improve and add more features with more software updates in the future. Um, thank you so much for watching and then we'll see you next time.